उसके फेफड़े कम हो जाते हैं और सांस गति नहीं आती उसकी दम की बीमारी हो जाने कारण वो आदमी धीरे धीरे मृत्यु को प्राप्त हो जाता है Mental illness is a living death. It's a living death for the person. It's a living death for the family members also. आज कोई तो बहुत गरीब है किसी के पास बहुत धन है किसी के पास इतनी संपन्नता है कि उनके यहाँ खाने वाले नहीं है कोई इतने जिनके यहाँ खाने वाले हैं उनके यहाँ भोजन नहीं है ये जो समस्याएं चल रही इसमें अगर हम सभी ये सोचें कि अगर हम एक होकर के अगर हम दो की भी मदद कर सकते हैं तो कम से कम कुछ तो कमियाँ हम पूरी कर सकते हैं दिस विजडम एकोज इन द फिलोसफी ऑफ द हंस फाउंडेशन created under the guidance of Shri Bhole Ji Maharaj and Mata Mangla Ji. The Hans Foundation is a charitable trust fund created to provide a source of endowment for not-for-profit organizations in India. We decided to focus on disability education and healthcare related projects, um, but all promoting self-sustainability and uh, rural development within India. Every soul not only needs love and respect but also equal access to quality healthcare and education this brings true dignity to human life our lessons come from the journey and not from the destination a journey where the quest is equality for all Taluka Mandvi district Kutch a place near the sea a place that seems to be deserted of all development these are the contours of an under construction house a bare existence does the future lurk somewhere A lifeline is flowing through the unapproachable roads. Hans Karuna Swasthya Pariyojana, the flagship project of the Hans Foundation that caters to the health of the neglected and the forgotten population. In this pursuit, the mobile hospital van managed to reach a place which was inaccessible. Rasida Bai was literally on her deathbed. रास्ते में उन लोगों ने बताया कि साहब वो अभी पूरा ज़्यादा कुछ जीने वाली नहीं है मगर फिर भी आप चलिए तो 16-17 साल की लड़की जैसे कि 12 साल की लगती थी वो बिल्कुल पसारी में सोई हुई मैंने उस बच्ची को देखा उसके आई का कंजन डाइवा देखा तो बिल्कुल सफ़ेद सा जैसे कि उसके बदन में खून ही नहीं है is supposed to have a hemoglobin of 11 to 13 grams rasida bai had 2.2 grams there was no blood in her body and no hope for her parents laboratory technician ne bataya ki maine kabhi itna kam khoon wala koi zinda aadmi nahi dekha dr gokri immediately referred her to a hospital it took four bottles of blood she recovered She was then given treatment under the project. Iron and calcium supplements made her strong. Rasida Bai was saved. She is yet to recover fully, but she is alive and she smiles. A life was saved just in time.
This is village Chota Dinara, 80 kilometers away from Bhuj. This is the first day that a mobile hospital has visited them. The village kids are curious. Six kilometers भी जाना पड़ेगा हमारे को eight kilometers भी जाना पड़ेगा दस भी जाना पड़ेगा कुछ उसके पास पैसा नहीं है तो भी किसी से उधार लेके भी पहुंचना पड़ेगा आदमियों को बचाना फर्ज होता है. The mobile hospital van reaches door to door, aiming to have the last door connectivity. It provides primary outpatient healthcare. This project caters to 25 villages in Mandvi Taluka. 55 more villages are demanding similar health services. And the Hans Foundation is obliged to serve them. The villagers now want this visit to be a regular one. Hope was at the horizon's verge. This mobile hospital has brought it closer. Ladies, जो हैं सुबह चार बजे पांच बजे से काम में लग जाती हैं रात भर तक दूर दूर तक लकड़ी लाना है उनकी नित प्रतिदिन की दिनचर्या ऐसे कि अगर वो एक दिन नहीं उठेंगी तो शायद शाम को उनका चूल्हा नहीं जलेगा तो ये जब जीवन की शैली होती है तो उसमें खुद वो अपने शरीर का ध्यान नहीं रख सकती और जब वो गर्भवती होती है उनको फुल वाइटामिन प्रोटीन्स कोई मिनरल्स ऐसी चीजें नहीं मिलती तो बहुत से ऐसे क्षेत्र हैं जहां गरीबी के साथ-साथ वुमेंस अपनी प्रॉब्लम ना करते वो शायद खुद भूखी रह जाएगी लेकिन बच्चों को भी भोजन तैयार करेगी द वुमेन इज द बैकबोन ऑफ एनी सोसाइटी बट शी इज फिजिकली मोर वल्नरेबल स्पेशली व्हेन शी इज प्रेग्नेंट In Gujoli village, many childbirths still take place at home, absolutely unsafe. बहुत सी महिलाएं ऐसी थीं जिन जिन्होंने की जिनकी deliveries हमेशा कभी कभी उन्होंने अस्पताल का भी मुंह नहीं देखा था. Doctor के नाम से डरती थी कि doctor बहुत पता नहीं क्या बहुत डांटेंगी हम इसलिए नहीं जाएंगे या हमारे बहुत से बच्चे हैं इसलिए नहीं जाएंगे. The Hans Foundation realized this and partnered Prasar to help the women of this area. Seema was five months pregnant and severely anemic. She visited a local government hospital, but was refused treatment. Five months ago, our son was in the belly. We went to the hospital. We took a blood test. He said that he was taking six pounds of blood. He said, "Let's take it. We took a blood test. We didn't hear anything. We didn't hear anything. We were scared. 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 She was treated under the project and then was also encouraged to get her delivery done at the government hospital. Her son is now six months old. Both of them are healthy. Dudu in Rajasthan lies on the Jaipur Ajmer Highway. The urban roads have reached here, but prosperity and awareness haven't. With no hospital, patients needed to be taken to Kishangarh. The Hans Foundation and Sangharsh Sansthan started a program for improving healthcare of women and children of the area. अब जानकारी होगी अब सुविधा होगी अब सब लोग वैज्ञानिक हो गया जो तमाद कोई भी आ गया तो भी सारों लेयर अस्पताल में पहुंच सकेगा और अस्पताल में ना पहुंचे तो सब गोलियां डे मिल जा बाल बच्चों सरलता में जल में जा पहले साधन कौन जो तो कम ही सपा का नाम जावा था और कम ही सत्रह सौ मिल जाता अब धीरे धीरे जानकारी हो Delhi, amidst the fast life, there are issues that need urgent intervention. Cases of miscarriages or complicated pregnancies is a big problem in the not-so-affluent areas. Aadhar Sheila 
and the Hans Foundation are working together to bridge the gap. उनको नहीं पता कि उनके शरीर में क्या कमी है और क्या उनको अपने शरीर को स्वस्थ करने के लिए या अपने परिवार को स्वस्थ करने के लिए या गर्भवती हैं तो अपने होने वाले बच्चे को स्वस्थ करने के लिए क्या करना चाहिए हंस करुणा स्वास्थ्य परियोजना इज एन एक्सटेंडेड फैमिली फॉर दीज वुमेन जब से हमारा ये परियोजना शुरू हुआ है हम ये देख रहे हैं कि लेडीज यहाँ आती हैं और हमें अपनी घर की समस्या भी बताती हैं ये देखा है हमने कि जब समस्याओं की वजह से इनके इनको हम दवाई देते हैं दवाई भी असर नहीं कर पाती पर जब हम इनसे बात करते हैं और काउंसलिंग करते हैं तो दवाई का असर भी दुगना होता है Every challenge is a stepping stone for the Hans Foundation as it looks to push the envelope in the field of health. Dev Bhumi Uttarakhand is the birthplace of Shri Hans Ji Maharaj. the spiritual guide behind the hans foundation his spirituality resounds in the valleys but there is a lacuna of health services in this exquisite but largely inaccessible region the hans foundation is striving to fill the gap bahut varshon pehle hamari mata ji ne hame bataya tha ki ye ek aisi jagah hai jo center hai garhwal ka aur yahan se upar fir koi sadhan nahi tha to hum log yahan se paidal chalte the तो बहुत वर्षों से एक इच्छा थी कि ऐसी जगह में जहाँ की हमारे श्री महाराज जी रात रुकते थे और वहाँ से पैदल चलते थे और कई बार वो कहते थे कि अगर मुझे कभी कुछ कार्य करना होगा तो मैं सतपुली को चुनूंगा क्योंकि सतपुली से बहुत से गांव जो है कनेक्टेड हैं सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल इज बींग कंस्ट्रक्टेड इन सतपुली टू सर्व द मासज ऑफ दिल पीपल बीन डिप्राइव ऑफ गुड हेल्थ सर्विस Hans Ji Maharaj has been the inspiration behind all this and his dream is coming true. There are roughly 58 million people in India afflicted with some sort of mental illness. and very few psychiatrists to treat them this problem becomes gruesome when 75% of our population is rural and largely superstitious people they have that stigma that you know this person it's not he is not good he cannot do anything because he is being possessed so he cannot help out in the family he cannot uh, you know produce anything towards society also he can't be of help to anyone aided and supported by the hans foundation bethany society is actively involved in identifying and treating these patients in meghalaya after identification camps are organized with the help of doctors from sanker those who require institutionalization are brought to this facility for treatment leep talang of village pamanik is a mother of 8 children the eldest daughter is normal two are blind five are mentally disabled poimi is one of them phat cha khlao cha jam phat ta cha ni khro ma se ta u ta cha no u ta cha no ta yu tu cha khlao u u yon ti thao re ho cha ho cha na ta ta ka te ba u cha no u cha no na ko dong go ma उंगीन Poimi needed some treatment and a bit of love to see things in the right perspective. Regular treatment has made a difference. He now has regular employment 
he contributes towards his family as well as the society. Mother and son till the soil. A labor of love is never lost. The Society for the Visually Handicapped believes in the philosophy that visually impaired people don't need sympathy. They only need a supportive system that helps them realize their true potential. We do not believe in special schools. We feel that a total growth of a blind person would happen only in his family, in an inclusive setup. Amongst other activities, the Society for the Visually Handicapped converts study literature into audio cassettes. With the help of the Hans Foundation, this project has taken wings. When Hans Foundation support came, we could take all the students, 14 university students, and we said, don't worry. We are the books our recordist will do for you. And we have started doing that. Malika was not born blind. Gradually, she lost her sight. In spite of being visually impaired, Malika banks on her other senses as she prepares for the competitive bank probationary officer's exams. These students cannot see but as they aim for a brighter future, they can now look beyond. People of all age groups are benefiting from these measures. Faith is being instilled in their own abilities. All they need is basic infrastructure. Like all of us, Many moons ago, water dried up in Balesar, Jodhpur. All that was left is stone. Its people were farmers. Now they work in these sandstone quarries. There is widespread TB and asthma in the workers. Pushpa Devi lost her husband to the stone mine. With no other employment opportunities, she started working in the very same mine. She needed to survive as well. उसके बाद उसके बच्चे हैं तो वो उनको खाना वगैरह नहीं देते हैं उसको खुद महिला को रोजगार के लिए जाना पड़ता है रोजगार ऐसा कोई इतना बड़ा रोजगार इधर है नहीं आगे नी कमाई जी नी बेई जी जब जान जान हो रखा हूं आई कौन दे बेटा तो समझ आ रहा होगा आप आप आज का बेटा कोई दे पुष्पा देवीज टू सन्स डिडंट वांट टू कैरी द बर्डन कॉल्ड ओल्ड मदर शी वाज लेफ्ट अलोन टू फेंड फॉर हरसेल्फ एंड हर डॉटर Aparajita Sansthan and the Hans Foundation decided to change the writing, cast in stone. Capacity building and skill training was the need of the hour. When Hans Ji Maharaj experienced knowledge, he said, 
my mind was focused within. These women also started to realize that true power lies within. It is the beginning of empowerment. ऐसा <laughs> Alternate livelihood opportunities like making of papads and stitching are helping the people to break free from the clutches of the stony grave. A pension scheme is also helping, but the focus is on women empowerment so that they can sustain themselves. ये विकास को मैं देखती हूँ कि सब बच्चे पढ़ लिख करके अपने भविष्य के बारे में सोचे क्योंकि जितने भी महिलाएं सब असाक्षर हैं इसलिए ये अपने बालिकाओं को पढ़ाए बच्चों को पढ़ाए और खान में कम बेच करके कहीं पर भी दूसरा रोजगार हो जाए तो इनकी जीवन शैली बदल सकती है सामाजिक आर्थिक और राजनीतिक तीनों में बदलाव आ सकता है इनका Kalinga, present-day Odisha, fought so valiantly with King Ashok that the war proved to be the turning point in his life. Similar valiant efforts are needed again. Known for its abundant natural resources, its people are also very close to nature. But somehow modern prosperity has not reached many parts of Odisha. The Gajapati district is an underdeveloped area and uh, basically uh, most of the population uh, is tribal community. You can say that is a major part of the people are living in the hill areas and inaccessible areas. Hilly and remote tribal areas like Bhuyanpada are so remote and inaccessible that government schemes often lose their way. Suraksha is doing its best to restore dignity in these marginalized and disadvantaged tribal people. Tapre be apna sikai chanti amku khali pai buli patra pai jauchu 10 ta 8 ta kunal 9 ta ku jauchu bon ru auchu gonte 2 ta ku anikiri sukai ki tapre saajyo hari ki khali sele ki apnon ko ame gutte group re ki 4 jana 5 jana bari ki gutte group re diuchu. Leaf plate making is one of the livelihood programs that have been initiated. तापर आम में पत्र खंचा पत्र नहीं करी बिक्की नहीं करी साठ नौले पचास सौ नौले तीरी सी पाई थी लो अब्बे दूसरों डेढ़ सौ पाउच खोल बिक्की A meager income of 500 rupees has increased threefold by leaf plate stitching. This stitch in time that has saved the fast vanishing smile from these simple faces. Alternative livelihoods that lead to a better life. Kumundini realized that if they need a change, then they will have to participate. She fought the Zilla Panchayat elections. She lost, but won the respect of females of the village. She continues to work for gender equality and promises to fight again. Capacity building and awareness of their rights have led to this change. Women now take an active part in decision-making activities. <laughs> किंतु पुरुष माने करी की मध्य किचिटा परिवर्तन है पारने जेतु अमें बे बाहरे इन्तीर लोगों को संग्रे मिला पड़े जेन्नियाय कोण अन्याय कोण सोचेतो न ताकोण सिकला पड़े अमें मोड़ा माने भी ताकु किचि जान बाकु थांसु परवाह बोली भी हाँ। This marks a new independence for the women in Betarsing village, but far away 
in Lamtur, 65 years of independence has changed nothing. यहाँ के लोग कहते हैं कि 65 साल से हम ये इंतजार कर रहे हैं कि कभी तो कोई आएगा, कोई जनप्रतिनिधि आएगा, कोई राजनेता ऐसा आएगा कि हमारे गांव में पानी लेके आएगा। लेकिन आज तक इनकी साध पूरी नहीं हुई। पानी चलो चलो जब पहले तो बार राम बस हल्ला हो सा। फिर राम बस हल्ला तो लेते फिर तीन बर माला गया इस पे इस भी एक दे वो टूट जाते कर वो टूट जाते। Lamtur never had water because of its topographical challenges. Nari Uthan Sansthan and the Hans Foundation did the unthinkable. 100 feet up from the ground to the ground, it's a rocky substance. So, there's no normal borewell machine that doesn't work in it. Mighty stones were challenged as water burst out from earth. An anicut was also made to harvest rainwater from the sky. Sweat, determination and hard work won. Water started to trickle in all the taps that were provided to the villagers' houses. A decades-old problem was solved, but a centuries-old problem had to be tackled, that of women being exploited. मेरे हवेली में भी एक महिला आती थी और वो ये गोबर का काम जो करती थी मतलब उसको जब दस रुपए मिलते थे तो उसका आदमी बाहर खड़ा ही इंतजार करता था कि वो बाहर आए वो दस रुपए में छीन लूं तो ये जब इस तरीके का मुझे पता चला तो मेरे मन में उस वक्त भी ये हुआ कि ये पैसा जो महिला ने अपनी मेहनत से कमाया है वो पैसा खर्च करने का अधिकार भले ही वो अपने परिवार पे खर्च कर दे भले ही वो अपने पति पे खर्च कर दे लेकिन उस पैसे को प्यार से खर्च करे ना कि जबरदस्ती और छीन कर विद्या देवीज हजबेंड died of electric shock and her world came crashing. Life was getting too dark when a new dawn provided some hope. Project Nav Prabhat 250 poorest of the poor of four villages were chosen and brought under a cooperative. Each member was given two buffaloes. Fodder for cattle and a shed was provided for. The sale of milk was also taken care of. Bank accounts were opened in the name of the women and the proceeds from the sales is directly saved into the accounts, making the women confident and decision makers in the family. The traditional skill of animal husbandry has now made the women self-sufficient. Likewise, a traditional craft like doll making was also providing strength to the women. दो साल पहले ये थे मकान मतलब पक्का तो था उसमें पानी धरता था अभी उसी से मतलब मकान भी किचन तेर वाली और घर में फ्रीज भी ले आए और पंखा मतलब सब कुछ व्यवस्था हो क्योंकि ये मैंने खुद ने देखा है क्योंकि मैं अनमैरिड हूँ फिर भी मैं काम करती हूँ तो आज मेरी कितनी इज्जत है वो मैं ही जानती हूँ but more than that, they are earning self-respect. They say, child is the father of man. But somewhere, childhood is still untendered and neglected. If a child is going to school, the child becomes a child from a child from a child from a child from a child. सोर्सेस बन जाते हैं, बहुत से उसको सोचने की शक्ति बढ़ जाती है, और वो एक समाज में जाकर के बहुत से अच्छे-अच्छे कार्य को कर सकता है। हमारे ऐसे गांव हैं, जहां आज भी बच्चे शिक्षा से वंचित हैं। गांव में आज तक ना तो स्कूल है, ना कोई लाइट का व्यवस्था है, और ये इंटरियर के गांव हैं दूरदराज A 
a catastrophic flood in 1981 inspired Sukhpal Dhabai to work for the people of his area, Chaksu. A majority of Chaksu's population is nomadic. Children accompanied parents on their daily wages jobs, thus missing out on education. Gyan Jyoti started a school. Gyan Jyoti runs many schools today, educating many, many underprivileged children. The Hans Foundation is solidly backing it. This thatch tells the story. It also tells that there is still hope. It may be small, but it is still a temple of education. Guruji got early learning from Mahatma Gandhi and Vinoba Bhave. In his endeavor to serve, he started a school for the tribal children of Boksa Janjati, a forest-dwelling community that was always at the fringes of mainstream society. The school is now cared for by the Hans Foundation. Guruji seems to be relieved. Gandhism lives on. India is a vast land with multitudes of traditions. Every three kilometers, the taste of water changes, and after every 12 kilometers, culture. But probably, the pain remains the same. Atsa is 12 years old, trying to eke out an existence in extremely harsh conditions. It is not only poverty, but also the surroundings that these children have to endure, like the sex trade. Uh, we also have lots of cases where children come up to us and say, uh, 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 you know, they have seen people using trucks and they even serve wine to the customers helping their parents, and parents I think that's a normal. Sheku Tale, 12 years old, is the protector of her younger brother and sister ever since her mother died. Their father works as a driver and is usually away from home. Subhidra's grandmother knows that age is not on her side and she is worried about her orphan granddaughter. I'm to ask the Community Education Center is literally a lotus in the slush. Backed by the Hans Foundation, it is providing education to the alienated and estranged children of the area. These children were fast losing their innocence and future in this crime-ridden area. They were even losing faith in the family system. We peeled all the children as one, one family. There is no rich, there is no one poor. So we treat everyone as an equal and children become more comfortable. You know, like we, we don't care whether they be face. We don't care whether they come in uniforms. We don't care whether they have very good trace. They, they come with very shabby clothes. It's okay. They come with without slipper. Just just appear for it. It's okay. So in, that is why children find more comfortable because they accept, we accept them just as they are. A humble looking school, but the effect has been phenomenal. The children have become open. They have found their voices as they are out of the hellhole. And they have also realized that there is a happy world where all can be well. Sheku Tale and her sister Ofo are riding on their dreams. Atsa is also hopeful. Subhidra is studying hard because she feels she has to become a teacher to take care of the disadvantaged kids. Even if we don't have anyone today, even if we are poor, even if we are studying in a poor school, if we can be educated, 
if we know how to read and write and if we can learn to fight the poverty if we can learn to fight the challenges that is ahead of us we can be someone The most important thing has been earning the trust of the people, I think, and just basically seeing that the work we have like, thought of in our heads, it actually has some positive effect when it's done. We are also trying to do it. We can't say that we can change all Uttarakhand or all of Bharat, but we are trying to do it. A deep-rooted desire to help all. Help the body, soothe the soul. This is the Hans Foundation's approach.